Hey, welcome back, Akron fans, to fourth game between Kitan and Vikran. This time, we are on Act Natural, not Rooftop Showdown. And in case you're wondering about that last game, yes, it was, in fact, vanilla version 1300, not EXP. I wasn't 100% sure because I, I thought that the crates had not been resized. I was looking earlier and it looked like they hadn't been changed, but indeed they had been. So, this is good to see. Wait, what? Huh. Oh, okay. Anyway, this is good to see. So, both players are playing on setup the way I expected it to be. For a second, I thought that the... Sorry, I was thinking before, I, I'd been reviewing this, double-checking, making sure that everything was in place, and I thought the QP and LC crates were not at the correct energy levels, but they apparently are. So that's good to see. Though I will double-check that, because now I'm confused. Anyhow, to the game. Vikarin is going CISO for a standard build-up, and Kitan going for... Like I said, 3, three LC, 1 importer build-up, getting a factory soon, getting ATHC rush. I would not be surprised if he did. And Kitan is, of course, going for standard build-up, his initial duo, getting his RPs built up. I hope he builds more QPRPs this game, and the last few games, he's been building too many LC RPs, not enough QPRPs. Grekin needs its QP. It really does. And the thing is, the expansion doesn't happen quickly enough that it makes that big of a difference. It really does need its Q-Plasma, and being stingy on it is not a great idea. Although, to be fair, there are fewer QP crates than LC crates that... I'll probably go through... I'll go through the maps and just see where I can rectify that a bit. I think that probably the QP-LC balance seems to be probably best at a 1 to 1 ratio, or a 5 to 4 ratio if you have enough crates, but these maps don't have a whole lot of crates, so... Adding another QP crate would likely be a good idea, I think. Having only one QP crate seems to be rather detrimental. With... So Kitan is, of course, getting his initial RPs. I'm still a bit surprised he isn't going for the third Octo. Getting three Octos, two RPs, and then getting the third RP a bit later. That's just a bit faster than trying to get the Octo when you can afford both the Octo and the RP. Because Octos are 45, RPs are now 35 on top of that. As in total, it's 50. Okay, that means to be fixed. But in total, it's 80. Okay, so he, like I said, I'm a bit surprised. He, he is going for the Octo a bit early. And then from there, getting a quick step, he's... I really think he is going for the wrong strategy, though. That Octopod was the best thing he did in Game 2, where he went for the Octopod. And he went for it a bit in Game 3, too. But the early Octopod in Game 2 paid off. It just... He didn't capitalize on that. That's the only problem. Oh yeah, and they're commenting on the resources. Yes, it did use to have more resources. I did reduce it based on the Cold Forge layout, and I will probably increase it a bit again, because I'm thinking QP isn't quite abundant enough. I think QP is a little bit too scarce, so fix that up, and then from there will be probably the one that gets included later on as stock. So here are early attack, ATC rush. Sorry, I'm not commenting on too much because this this is normal. This is what's been happening all the time, although this Marine coming in is not. Vikran usually wasn't sending in the Marine before, so this is new. He's really pushing this heavy rush going in. And Factory also further up in front, rather than having it in his main base. Yeah, and Jericho's pointing out the change. So, this is not a total surprise at all. But it looks like both players are going to be having to deal with the reduced economy. So, at least it's not uneven. Still, Grekum does need his QP a bit more, and I will I will change that. I will add another QP crate for some of these expansions, make it close to one-to-one. -one. So we see that Kitan has his base tribe built up. Kitan actually, about a minute down from here, only using that to build an, a reef again. He's not using it to build anything else, just building his reef. And getting... Okay, he is getting an earlier QP RP. This is good. I like to see this. So probably going to be going for a fairly early Octopod, though not super early, but should be early enough. The ATCs are just arriving, or just getting sent out, actually. The 2.30 mark is when they get built, and they'll be sending out from there. So the 3-minute mark, kind of just double-checking the attack coming in. The ATCs likely won't hit until about 3 minutes, 3 seconds. There's enough time. Should be able to get his QP built up, should be able to get an Octopod built up, deal with the Special Ops, deal with the Marine, and then deal with the ATC afterwards. I'm just waiting for that mech, though. Waiting for the mech for the macrofab, and Kitan also building a bit more, building up a QPRP in his natural expansion. And here comes that mech, the one I was looking for. The one that will build the proxy macrofab, because that's what Vikran has been doing all game, and it's been working out very well. So Kitan getting his octopod, 
losing an LCRP, actually losing a second LCRP, double checking Kitan further in the back. He is going to be setting up another Octo, Octo as well. This is further in the past. He jumped back another 30 seconds to move his reef forward earlier. But it looks like he's building another Octo before building the Octopod. And yes, there it is. So he's going to build an Octo, use that to help defend with the reef to support it and just keep it alive. And of course the next ATC is coming in, so these are the ATCs that were coming in before. Three Minimark, that's the second one by the way. The first one is right here, right about to hit. And Octo doing a decent job defending. Not able to fully defend, but looks like... No it is, it just barely is able to defend. The ATC will kill it though. But it doesn't matter, by the time the ATC is there, the Octopod should be done. I... No, no it isn't. Titan's not building it. I'm rather surprised. Vikram on the other hand has started building stuff in the future. He's... What is he building in the future? Another ATHC, of course. So we see that the Octopod is being built up, and the Octopod did its job. It moved everything away, distracted it from the LC crates. Why the Octopod is not actively defending is beyond me, though. Titan likely just sent to the rally point actually hasn't commanded to do anything yet. And there it is. Okay. So now it's going to defend in the ATHCs, and this is what should happen. So this is not a bad counter. This is actually going to work out pretty well. However, still concerned about the Mar tanks and the, ma the proxy macrofab from the mech. But at this point, Kitan doesn't have enough money. If he builds another... I think another Octopod will do it for defense. That's all he needs. So the next time he gets QP, here we are. And no. He's not building another Octopod. No, yes, there we are. Okay. I was a bit surprised. I think it, that can't be two Octos. That isn't two Octos. It is two Oct it is an Octopod and an Octopod. So he is building up a Octopod on top of this. However, he, he's jumped back from there. The Octopod was about 30 seconds up from where we are now. Jumping, he jumped back again, another 10 seconds or so. Double checking this attack as the ATCs run away and the Octopod goes over to chase them. ATCs running into the natural expansion and Octopod chasing them down. This is the right thing to do. Get rid of those ATCs before they can do anything else, but it looks like the Octopod will not catch them or Kitan hasn't quite searched out yet. Mech and ATC coming in as well on top of that, but that should be fine. With that second Octopod coming in, where is it? Here it's the Octo, and the... Oh, no, he is building a second Octo. Stepping in an Octo. Oh, what? Well, he had built an Octopod. I guess he's changed up to an Octo. And here we are. The ATCs are being attacked. And really, he should have built up here. Because now those ATCs are coming in, and one of them will die. So Vikarin has lost an ATC, but Vikarin is about 10 seconds down from here and likely to run away along these hills, along this the cooled lava, or just run away. Now successfully running away. Looks like he's trying to get back into the base, trying to avoid that octopod, and Kaiden has, back when he is, the 510 mark, when the ATCs are coming around, he has not changed this up at all. He is going for this expansion, however. Still going very heavily for LC, and the ATCs are putting themselves into a position that's going to be very hard to scout out. And coming back up to the main base, coming back up, and will be dealing quite a bit of damage once they hit. This is why that chasing down really should have been a bit more zealous. And, like I said, he does need that... Okay, building up another reef. Not a bad idea, but he doesn't need that octopod. He does need more defense. He needs more good ground defense. And the macrofab being built up towards the... I think it's the front middle expansion. Yeah, that's going to work really well for Vikran. That's That really is. He's been doing quite well so far with that. And it's far enough away that's going to be difficult for Kitan to scout without putting his neck out a bit. And... As we've seen already, Kitan is rather risk averse. He doesn't like to scout, he doesn't like to risk units, even to get information, which is oftentimes far more valuable. But he does not like going for that, he's rather uncomfortable with it. And another Octopod, good. Finally, okay. So we do see another Octopod, so we will have some ability to defend against the ATHCs. The ATHCs will be no problem, it's the Mar tanks that'll be a problem. So Vikarin in a great spot right now with the Mar tanks, getting another ATHC out, and going for more RP. So he is building up. He's getting his economy up from behind this, but Kitan is not too far behind an economy. He's just not pushing out enough. He's like Vikarin has map control. He really has psychological control, but they are pretty even in economy. I mean, Kitan has fewer bases, but they're even in economy at this point. And here comes the first Mar tank, 749 mark. Will be hitting quite hard. The Octopod should be able to defend against it. And the second Octopod actually going in for harassment. Not a terrible idea, except for the timing. Actually, no, wait, the timing's fine. This is back when the Martang was being built, so still not great. But it does it does assert a bit of map control. It's just that 
Ah, here we are. Okay, good. So we should be fine. Another Octopod is being built up. So, Titan definitely going for the Octopods. So we'll see how well those work. I'm quite certain it'll work well, but we will see just how well. I think he's moving them too far out of position, though. Focusing too heavily on harassment and not enough on def on just double-checking there's no proxy macrofabs and keeping his eye out for that. But he does see he does see it. He has enough time and chrono energy to fix this. He can actually go back, and he is doing that, but he's not doing it early enough. He should be around here-ish. And he goes down around there-ish. And he's not moving back. Okay, on playable past edge, is he going to be changing this up? Please tell me he's going to be changing this up, because this is going to be painful to watch if he doesn't. And no, he's not. He's moving his reefs up, getting enough reefs to help defend and heal up and try to avoid dying. But no, he did not move his Octopod back in time. So he has one Octopod up in front here that will be helping to defend. And another Octopod harassing, so this Octopod can go on and harass, it won't be a big deal. It's the Octopods over here that are problematic, he doesn't have enough to defend, and of course did not change, chase down the ATHCs over here. So this is still going to be tricky to deal with. He does have his Octopod, however, dealing with the ATHCs still feels a little bit too minimal. The defense should be enough, but this, these Octopods are out of position, they are not helping each other out, and the Mar tanks are able to destroy them just with numbers. That's... That's what I mean by being out of position, and this is the Octopod that was harassing, by the way. It should just kept on harassing or attacking the main base, because these Martanks are the only major threat the Octopods have. And the Octopods and Martanks kind of trade off, but the thing is, if you are attacking one, one by one, the Octopods do not do well. Nothing does well attacking one by one against a group. That just basic one of the basic rules of warfare, really. Don't attack one It's the whole quadratic scaling idea. If you have ranged units, they will scale quadratically. If you quadruple the number of units, you will have 16 times the power. This is well understood part of warfare, ranged warfare since the days of Napoleon. Oh, maybe not well understood since the days of Napoleon, but definitely been well understood for at least a century. It's important to have your units together and in position. And unfortunately, Chitin does not have his units in position. And one of his Octopus is attacking the Macrofab, but it's way too little too late. The Macrofab doesn't need to build anything. Titan, Titan needs to defend against these Mar tanks. Vikran is everything he needs. The Mar tanks are the real problem. They are, however, wasting a lot of their time and energy destroying reefs. That is the one thing that Titan has, is that he is buying a lot of time with those reefs. And now sending out a bunch of Octos to try to finish off the Mar tanks. I, this might work, but they aren't that fast, and they are focusing on the ATHCs, which is not where they should be focused. They should be focusing on the Mar tanks, and they are not. However, he did manage to get one of the Martanks killed with another Martank splash damage, but really, Octopods. Octopods, Octopods, Octopods. That, that's the unit he needs, and he's actually lost that... He's lost that QPRP. He has no QPRPs at this point, and now lost his Arcticus. So, really, Vikran... Vikran's just pulling ahead by simply being in better position. It's not even a matter of numbers anymore. It's it's a total question of position. I mean, Kitan had the numbers. He had the resources. Keeping that QPRP, he would have... He would have had at least four... Octopods or so, or possibly even the money to get air units and then deal with that from there. I mean, his 10 minute mark, he could have air units for about 3 minutes or so. I mean, those reefs really bought a lot of time. But no, he decided to go instead for a lot of Octos, and that did not work. So that was the fourth game between them. As you can definitely see, there are ways not to fight off a Mar Rush, and there are ways to fight off a Mar Rush, and position does matter. So there's one more game after this. So stay tuned, there'll be one more between the two, and we'll see what happens there if Chitin manages to figure out a way of beating back this rush, or if it turns out that he doesn't know how to beat it. So we'll find out shortly. Stay tuned.